Well, hi church, it's great to be with you this morning. My name is Julie Keir and you will generally find me at the Central Campus. Well, what an incredible um, time we're in with our devotions, focusing in on miracles and the miraculous and just believing for God to really break out in our lives and in the life of our church. And um, I'm thrilled to be sharing a devotional with you this morning. And I've got a couple of verses for you from the Bible and then a personal story of how God has been working in our lives as a family recently. So the first verse I want to share with you is from Revelation chapter 3 and verse 7 and it says this, when I open a door no one can close it and when I close a door no one can open it. And then the next scripture is from Proverbs 19 21 and it says many other plans in a person's heart but it's the Lord's purpose that prevails and we as a family are currently in the process of buying a house and moving home and a few months ago we had a buyer for our house and we'd found a beautiful home on a, a street and an area that we really loved and everything seemed to be going along really well until one day out of the blue, our buyer pulled out and we were so disappointed and we had to phone the agent for the house we were buying and say, we're really sorry, we've lost our buyer. And within a couple of hours, not only had we lost our buyer for our house, but we'd also lost the house that we were trying to buy. And honestly, I felt like the the, the rug had been pulled out from under my Feet. And I, I was a bit like, God, you know, we'd prayed at every turn. Um, you know, we felt that we would, we were going in the right direction, but the door had firmly closed in our face. And for about six to eight weeks, everything went quiet. We didn't have any potential buyers looking at our house. And I began to feel a bit discouraged, like, okay, what is happening here? And then out of the blue, a new couple first time buyers put an offer on our house and this is where we really began to see a bit of a miracle happening because the very same day that the the new buyers put the offer on our house another house on the same street as the house we were gonna buy came on the market and that day my husband Stuart he said to me Julie do you remember saying as we first drove down that road to look at the first house you pointed at another house and said oh I'd love to live in that house and that was the very house that came on the market and we put an offer in and it was accepted and everything is going through and it's even better than the house we were going to buy and I realised recently that sometimes God closes a door because he has something better for us. And Pastor Glenn recently said in his devotions that sometimes when things are going well, it isn't always an indicator that you're going in the right direction. Sometimes things get more difficult um, as God teaches us again to trust even when we don't understand. And, you know, the Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians that, sometimes difficult stuff happens so that we would relearn to learn to rely on God and it's not that God makes the difficult things happen but he uses them as a vehicle to bring about the miraculous in our lives as we trust him he truly is the behind the scenes miracle working God so in your situation today God is working and um, let's pray together for a moment Father God, we thank you today that you are the God of miracles and we pray together this morning that in our lives right now, whatever we are facing, that we will begin to see your miracles breaking out in our lives and in the lives of our friends and families. In Jesus name. Amen. Have a great day, church, and see you soon.